This is Ron Higgins with TigerDetails.com, columnist. And uh, you know, preseason is all about uh, overcoming adversity, you know, taking care of unforeseen problems. Like me doing this stand up about today's 13th practice of the preseason, ending with a, I think a four or five series scrimmage. And my job right now is to overcome a guy who wants to blow every blade of grass off this damn parking lot. So I'm going to talk real loud and hope you can hear me because I'm not moving. But man, if they pay this guy by the per blade of grass blown, he's trying to make a million bucks in 15 minutes. But anyway, let's talk about this 13th practice. Uh, it ended with a, a five series scrimmage, split evenly. Jane Daniels got the first first team snaps. Uh, Garrett Nussmeyer got the second snaps. Uh, each one against the first team offense, defense, each one against the first team, uh, second team defense. And look, 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 I'm telling you, if you had to pick a quarterback today, there's really not much separation. This is going to be a damn hard decision for Brian killing his staff. Today, uh, Jaden Daniels was 7 of 9. This is unofficial stats. LSU doesn't keep this stuff, um, so we can try to from the sideline. Uh, Jay Daniels was 7-9, passing 84 yards, no touchdowns, led one touchdown drive. Uh, and uh, let's see, made a nice uh, had a made a nice run, a 14-yard run. Uh, Garrett Nussmeyer was six of eight for 88 yards, one TD on the very last play of the scrimmage, a 17-yard pass, beautiful pass to Jerry Jenkins, and Jerry Jenkins was the leading receiver, three catches for 59 yards. Uh, and uh, Brian Kelly said afterwards that uh, yesterday there were, there were two turnovers in the red zone, and, and it really uh, it's not what he wants to see. He felt the defense defense yesterday uh, had the better of it with offense. Today he was very pleased with offense. He thought they took better care of the ball, uh, liked the quarterback bet, uh, ball distribution from both quarterbacks. Um, Eight players caught passes. He said that the, the, the quarterbacks took care, uh, better care of the ball today. He praised uh, Jaden Daniels. Thought the ball came out of his hands very well today, uh, and uh, very accurate. Uh, and uh, he, he praised Garrett Nussmeyer for making good reads uh, on the zone coverage, something they've worked on. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough decision now. They got another scrimmage I think next Tuesday and. Uh, I think about 18 days left for that opener, and, and then, so uh, this is going to be a fight to the finish. And it all decides I mean basically what he feels, what quarterback can get the job done with the personnel they're going to have around him, with their strength and weaknesses. Uh, the offensive line, uh, it, it seemed settled. Uh, uh, you know, until after practice when uh, Brian Kelly informed us he was going to move uh, Anthony Bradford back inside to right guard from right tackle and, and put Cam Wire back at right tackle. But that means Miles Frazier, I guess he, he said he's recovering from an ankle injury, their offensive guard who's been, been the starter. So they're still, they're still not set there. There's still some uh, some movement, but, 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 but the starters basically, I mean, uh, have, you know, you know, been the same, I mean, uh, for the past week or so. So that looks like, for the most part, it's set, but, but Brian Kelly said not so fast. Uh, uh, defensively, uh, uh, this is the first time we've, we've had a chance to see if a seven banks or a high state transfer. Uh, he got leg clearance. He had some, I believe, it was some knee problems overriding from his transfer to high state. And, uh, you know, he got cleared slowly. And uh, Keller really likes him. He's very phys he, uh, likes his physicality and, and the short side of the field, short tackler. Uh, and it really looks like him, Gerard uh, Bonera Converse, Oklahoma State transfer, are the starting corners. But, uh, you know, again, Colby Richardson, the McNeese transfer, was, was, was praised again. I mean, Kelly almost praises him every time we talk to him. I mean, he talked about how 
The Kobe put on 20 pounds since he got here and this has played lights out. And uh, one area of the team that Kelly probably was worried about going into preseason camp, uh, quarterbacks, he's not worried about it anymore. He says he, has, he feels he has six really good quarterbacks he can play. So um, in that area, he feels pretty good. Uh, he praised uh, safety Major Burns, that, you know, his, his intelligence, uh, he, that he brings to the defensive structure. He said he's very going to be a very vital to this team this year. Uh, kicking game, uh, still vastly up in the air. Uh, nothing's been decided there. Uh, but it was good today. Uh, we, we saw some people, we saw some players uh, that kind of jumped out. I mean, I'm start, you started to get the feeling more and, and, and more uh, that offensive lineman Will Campbell is not going to be the only freshman that's going to start. Uh, Mason Taylor, son of uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame Jason Taylor, Miami Dolphins. Jason, Mason Taylor, 6'5", 245, tight end. Uh, played mostly with the first team today, and, and he, he, he's a, a physical specimen. He's uh, impressive. He doesn't drop passes. Uh, I mean, I, I think this, if you're looking at a prototypical future All SEC tight end, uh, uh, because just because of his body and his physicality, uh, you know, I mean, other other tight ends have, have shown out. I mean, of course, you always. Uh, uh, you always have, you know, the, the guy who I, probably is underrated by everybody who just makes plays. There, there are certain guys on this team who just make plays that, that physically you look at them, they look underrated. Jack Mashburn, tight end, who was huge last year in some blocking and some wins, uh, you know, caught a, a key pass, well, I think, a fake, off a fake, uh, fake punt late in the year against you know, Alabama. Jack Mashburn is one of those guys who uh, – not physically overwhelming, but but makes plays. Uh, you know, uh, you know all the running backs. I uh, thought ran okay. Uh, Josh Williams, another guy, another guy who's kind of underrated. Josh Williams who came here as a walk on, and he's probably if you looked, there was a real depth chart. He'd probably be fourth on it in, in the in the four man rotation. Uh, but he just gains yards, and he did, he, he did so again today. I mean, Josh Williams just makes plays, and uh, you really can't put a value on that. In fact, I don't know if you know this, Josh Williams is LSU's leading returning rusher, which kind of uh, is, is good for him, but also kind of shows you the state of LSU's running game, but needs to find some people. Uh, John Emery didn't take first string snaps today. Uh, looks like they're trying to motivate him a bit. I mean, that Armani Goodwin. Uh, on the first team today, Noah Kane looked ran well at times. Uh, so you get the sense right now. Again, there's still a long way to go in this preseason. Uh, and if you're looking for some uh, clarity in the quarterback situation, well, you didn't get it today. But what you saw were two quarterbacks who uh, made good reads, threw the ball accurate. Uh, and, and both plays at their strength. Nussmeyer has uh, got a, a, a nice arm, especially the last touchdown pass he threw. And, uh, and honestly, uh, Jaden Daniels showed – he had a 14-yard run off an off a RPO. And, and listen, this is how hard it is to get a 14-yard run because in these scrimmages, you, you don't have to be tackled to, to be called down. You're just touched. You're called down. He did. A, he had an RPO and, and he got, and made some cuts and he got a 14-yard run before anybody touched him. Uh, that's how fast he is. And he also got a a nice play off of some, uh, a scramble. Uh, he scrambled out of pressure and found Keishawn Butte on the sideline uh, for a nice nice gain. So anyway, that's it. We learned some things, but I, I guess the, what we really learned is that. Uh, this quarterback battle may go down to last practice, and that's okay. And uh, depending on who's on the offensive line, uh, you know, both you can win with both these quarterbacks. But it's it's going to be a tough decision, and 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 today maybe didn't make it any easier. But it, it was if you're a, a, or an LSU fan, 
you'd feel a bit easier today watching both these guys play because both of them uh, were sharp, played well, and uh, uh, played within themselves and made good reads and good throws. So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, and from the LSU practice facility, I'm Ron Higgins, Tiger Details. Finally, without the madman leaf blower, he's gone. Must be lunchtime. And uh, we'll see you again for one of these practice reports next week. Take care.